Hi everyone, welcome back to Photography by Harrison and we have another FC300 versus the FC1002 but this time instead of doing the test at night time like we did a month ago and you obviously could tell the difference between the two cameras this time we're going to do the test during the day and we're going to see how big a difference there is between the one inch sensor of the FC1002 and the one over two thirds sensor of the FC300 now with that being said I will see you on the other side just going to be walking shots downtown of my hometown. And don't worry, I'm definitely going to stay six feet or more away from each individual I might contact because although they might not be in the high risk group, since I'm over 60, I'm in the high risk group. We're just going to walk and I'm going to show you some of the scenes in my downtown. And both cameras are set up exactly the same on Aperture Preferred ISO 200. But ISO on both cameras is limited to 1600. The FZ 300 will be on the right, and the FZ 1002 will be on the left. So we're going to check to see how both cameras do. And also, they're in autofocus, face recognition. I probably should have just put it in zone, but they're currently in face recognition. So also, we not only be checking to see how each camera compares for its detail and sharpness and exposure, we'll see how well the focus. This is one of the internationally famous murals in my hometown. Which one of these cameras pick it up the best? The FC300, which is on the right, or the FC1002, which is on the left? There's actually a bigger crop, just a slightly bigger crop in video mode on the FC1002 as compared to FC300. That's why the pictures look slightly, just a little different. Yes, I know the rules about walking on a train track, but these tracks are in between two intersections, and you can easily hear the slow moving freight train. Yes, it's a very slow moving freight train, because this is down through the center of town, and you have plenty of time to get off the tracks. If you hear a train that's more than 15 minutes away, and you're still stupid enough to stay on the tracks and get hit, well, nothing in the world can help you then. This young lady is an RCC student doing one of her assignments. And this young lady is her sister. As you can see, they're abiding by the rules by staying at least six feet apart. And this is another world famous mural in my hometown. Am I bragging? Well, I can't help it. We just got it going on here in Ashburn, North Carolina. But which one of these cameras do you think pick up the detail and, and focuses better? The one on the right or the one on the left? I'll let you decide. Yes, you've heard me say this before, but again, this is another world famous mural in my hometown. Which camera does it justice? The one on the right, the FC300, or the one on the left, the FC1002? Well, I showed you a wide shot of this world famous mural. Now, let me show you a few tight shots. Tell me which camera you think does the best job. Remember, there's a story behind every picture. They just wouldn't put up here randomly. The artist knew exactly, the artist, and the artist that we did this mural, they knew exactly what they was doing. A lot of these pictures and your things, they're actually real scenes and real people from Ashburn's past. So to me, what camera does the best job? Which one you think? If you like what you see, go down, hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification button so you can get all my videos. And also, if you like what you see, leave a comment and tell me why you like it, because that will motivate me to go out and do more videos. And if you don't like it, it's fine to leave a thumbs down, but also leave a comment, tell me why you don't like it, because that also will motivate me to go out and do more videos so you'll like them next time. Because I said it before, you know I'm going to continue to say it, when it comes to photography, no one knows it all. And the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. With that, again, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. And I will see you next time.